Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? It is today after Christmas. Um, y'all, it's just a weird space for us. It's been like in this weird space for my family since September, August, honestly, because we are moving, relocating to Texas. So, um, we are living, we have been living in a small apartment, small for us. It's, it's a fairly good sized apartment, honestly. Um, since September and it has been challenging to be in this little tight space with all of us. Cause baby, if you have been with your man, as long as I've been with, with, with mine, he, he can get on your damn nerves. And when you in a short space and you see them all the time, it's like, go, go somewhere. <laughs> Y'all know I'm playing kind of, sort of. So y'all, let me look at my hair too, baby. This hair is old, like a, a, a month old. I'm gonna wash it today, I guess. Um. So yes, you guys, I'm very grateful. Let me tell you something. I thought that we would make the move within two years, cause that's what I was telling my family and friends. I'm like, yeah, y'all, we gonna be out here within two years. But then my husband, who's very smart, thank you, Lord, for blessing me with someone who is intelligent. My husband was like, no, we can't wait. I'm like, why? What's going on? And so his point was, if we wait, whatever we buy, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. He's like, yeah, absolutely. We, if we wait, we're going to get way more money for our house. But that means we will have to also buy something that's more, more than what we had anticipated. So I'm like, okay, so what should, what, what should we do? So he was basically like, okay, we just, sell our house as soon as possible and we buy in Texas. So what part of Texas do you wanna to move to? We decided to move to a town called Forney, which is like 30 minutes east of um, Dallas, Texas, DFW. My best friend also lives in Forney. Now I've visited Forney a number of times and those of you who don't know, um, we, I mean, I'm from Texas. I wasn't born in Texas. I was born actually in Columbus, Ohio, girl. There's a whole story behind that. Even though I'm a Southern girl, I'm from the South. And the set, actually, any time before the 80s was considered, um, how should I put it, y'all? It was uncommon for women to have children out of wedlock. And there was actually homes for women who were having children when they weren't married. There were group homes for this. This was a thing. And then the child would eventually be adopted. Now, you from the country, what they would do is send you to a relative and you would have that child in secrecy, quote unquote. So, my mother was, why am I telling you all this? I'm just trying to explain to you why I was born in Ohio, okay? My mother was sent, her little fast butt, since Billie Jean wanted to get pregnant at 19. <laughs> my grandparents, sent her to Ohio with her older sisters until she was able to have me, right? After that, she came back to Texas and my family, my parents eventually got married, okay? So I was basically raised in East Texas, Longview, Texas to be exact. So when my husband asked, what part of Texas do you wanna to move to? You wanna to move to East Texas? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> Just because our family is not used to living in that type of environment and with being in Forney, Forney is a small town, but it's only 30 minutes from Dallas. So we want to get back to the city, quote unquote, it's right there. Well, you know what I mean? Forney is only 20,000 people. Longview has like 89, 90, 90,000 people. And so, yeah, it's a lot. I, I sympathize and I am totally empathetic towards those of you who are, who are frontline workers. And I'm talking about my nurses, doctors, those of you who are in the medical field, um, those of you who work in like the bank, even the banking system, um, it's just so much going on. These, this, that, that's not really a, a frontline, but you're a forward facing customer service type of job. You know what I mean? Um, working in the food industry, you know, working as a waitress, working as a, a grocery clerk or whatever. But baby, my husband was, I am grateful that he's taken some time off. He been not me getting on my nerves. But I'm, <laughs> I'm grateful that we are able to have the means for him to be able to take some time off. Because when I tell you he is stressed, and I know a lot of you are stressed that are working in the medical field. And 
um, again, my husband is a medical technologist and he is one of the lead medical technologists. He has over 15 years of experience and he's saying like everyone is so overworked, they're overtired. And his last day is January 5th, y'all. He's gonna take some time off, you know, and, and just, just, you know, not work and get on my nerves at home, you know? <laughs> um, my husband is quiet. He not more, mostly be on his, uh, what do you call it? His tablet looking at news articles or stuff like that or doing stuff within his group, his um, Doromo group within his um, country. So now baby, this apartment complex, look, I already told y'all how much we were paying for rent. Granted, it's because we're on a seven month lease, even though we're gonna be breaking that, $2,000 a month for a two bedroom, two bath apartment. To break the lease, the penalty, it's crazy. It's over four thousand dollars. Something's got to give, y'all. This is crazy. So that's going on, baby. This will probably be our last, my last vlog vlog here in Texas. But girl, I was looking at some of my other videos. Like, I'm not gonna be doing hair related videos anymore, y'all, in this apartment. I have two more scheduled, and then after that, I'm saving everything for when we move back to Texas. And so it may be a month or so before I can get back to making, you know, hair related videos because everything just doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right to do it in the apartment. Um, it's echoey. I can't get my aesthetics right right now. So I'm just going to wait till we're settled in Texas and it may take another month for me to get, get it together. Let me make sure. I need to go to the store. And I'm going to wear this to the store. I don't give, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm wearing this in store. It's cute. It's covered. Praise God. Woo! Let me um text some people while I'm in here. Yeah, I'm by my, I'm by myself in the car now. Don't mind the back girl. Look, the people who are shipping off my car, they said that I can put stuff in the car. Let me let um. Who am I texting? Oh, let me let Angel know uh, her dog's cute. Oh, hey, Angel. Hey, girl. Let me text Miss Linda. Shout out to African Hair Guy. Y'all, I had stopped watching him for a while. Only because, huh, nothing against him. I, I do like uh, a lot of his context. <clears throat> Excuse me, African Hair God. And so, I did catch the last one, um, the, the some of it. And he is donating his money to Linda. Hey, honey. Hope. All is well. Um. All right, y'all. Let me. I'm gonna go to the store. The good thing about living right over here. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me get this thing together so we can go to the store. So y'all can go to the store with me. Girl, so what did y'all cook? All right, girl. So it's gonna be a little rocky, rocky road, but you already know. Um, the good thing about living over here is that I'm right by the store, like walking distance. So, there ain't nobody walking, girl. But I'm just saying that's how close it is. All right. So I just gotta go get some paper towels. Um, I cooked yesterday, of course. I wasn't really going to cook for Christmas, y'all, cause I really don't eat like that anymore. Um, so what did I cook? I made dressing, of course. I made hen. I mean, I did the same thing, dressing hen. But I did do collard greens. Sorry, y'all, the light. I did collard greens, and I made corn, a coconut cake. So what the hell am I going to the store for then? <laughs> I'm going to go get some um, paper towels because we don't have any paper towels. And yeah, I'm just, I just want to be in the truck or in the car on, on my way to Texas. I'm like, it gets me so much anxiety to know that we have to do all this stuff again because we just moved to this apartment in like, when was it? September. I have always worked since I've been with my husband, or well, even when he wasn't my husband. Um, that's a lie. 
let me back that up. When I first came out here, I didn't have a job, but I never wanted to be the stay-at-home wife. Now, let me say this. I feel confident that my husband would not leave me in the dust if something were to happen because just for the caliber of man that he is. But you never know. Let me zoom in on y'all. You never know. People change. So, I think it's... Ooh, it just really, really breaks my heart. I could not even watch Linda's video. Linda... And you know what? Let me just say this. I saw a comment from someone who was basically like, I hope that other people are, are you know, what are the, where are the other YouTubers, you know, are they supporting you and helping you, you know, when you were having things with Miel or Mayel, you know, everyone came out, you know, and supported you. And now where are they? Let me tell you this. There are those of us who are working in the background that are doing things for Linda. I know, I don't know if she's a YouTuber, but there is someone there locally who has reached out to her. Me personally, I have reached out to her, Linda, um, if not monthly, every two weeks, just a temperature check to see how she's doing. Ever, don't ever allow someone to take you so far away from your friends and family. That is, that is a form of, of control, okay? Um, Linda's fairly young and perhaps she didn't know that she got married fairly young to you guys in her early 20s like I believe like 20 21 correct me if I'm wrong 2021 so um, granted I know there's some grown ass you know she's grown but there's some seasoned women's that have uh, done some things like that that have allowed a man when they get married and he says okay I want you to be a, be a, a stay-at-home wife you know you have your two and two and a half kids and I'll provide okay but continue to stack your money up on the side you know what I mean don't just allow it and it's a lot to just to be a wife and a mother you know and to take care of the household but don't allow that to define who you are this is what I'm trying to say what the hell is this child's mama? This little boy is running a good foot in front. You see these new pa parents. I wish my child would run. Anyway, so. Stack your money up on the side. Okay, one. Two. Be doing something still in the midst. To be working on yourself. Um, and it not to say, it not to say, you know, go, go to, to college, you know, what I'm saying is that take a class. Um, there are free classes, you guys, Facebook, and I believe even YouTube offers certain classes, uh, research, baby. If, if I, if, if I remember, I'll post it down below, especially Facebook. Okay. Uh, take one class at a junior college, do something. Just don't be comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. Let me tell you something. When my husband and I were in a spot, we weren't even married. When we were in a spot, I was stacking my money up on the side the entire time. Granted, I had a job, but I always made sure I was stacking my money. Right now, I'm in a place, I know why I'm feeling uncertain right now. Because I'm in a place to where I don't have a lot of savings. I'm just being transparent with you guys. But once we moved and I would get into a routine and we're not, you know, using money for every little thing. Because I had a lot of exp expenses. Not just with the moving... But I guess my point is there's been a lot of additional expenses. It was 300 I mean, it was just like at one month, I had an additional $800 in expenses that I had to pay. And I'm like, so uh, some of that I dipped into my savings. And so this has been going on since September where I've been having an addition. And granted, it wasn't that much money. But my point is, is that if I didn't have that savings, what would I do? Go to my husband for every little thing? No. So now that I've depleted my savings almost, now it's time for me to build it back up and do it slowly. <sighs> I know I'm, I'm going around and around, but when Linda was, y'all, Linda was walking on the side of a busy a busy road with her baby and crying and when I tell you I couldn't finish that video I couldn't finish it it is so disheartening to see that and what type of man well I granted we don't know what's going on you know I sort of 
thinking about all the people who are not, even though I haven't lost anyone close to me, I just started thinking about the families who have lost people, you know, people who have lost loved ones during the holidays and how hard it is. And then I was thinking about, oh, Lord, here I go, getting all emotional. I'm sorry, y'all. And then I was thinking, you know, I was okay. I've been okay for like the past few weeks or so, but then the holidays, I always get upset. Not for me personally, but I just get sad for other people, you know, like, you know, people who lost their loved ones. And granted, I haven't lost anyone, but like my friend lost her husband. Two of my classmates lost a husband. Um, I just felt like 220, 2020 was just such a, 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 a year. And then 2021, we all, you know, coming into 2021, we're all excited. Yay, we made it. Yay, we, we can, things are coming back to a certain place of normal. And then you have certain people that just died. You know what I mean? My classmate, his, his, his wife died like a couple of days ago. And I'm like, oh my God. So I'm a type of person that I get sad for other people, even though I'm okay. And I'm blessed, but I get sad for other people. I'm sad for my best friend. I, I mentioned that she's going through, I don't know if I mentioned that she's going through some stuff right now. And, and I've had to tell her, I'm like, please hold on. I'm, I know you're, you're upset and it's stressful, but please hold on, baby. I'm almost there so I can sit in that with you. I just don't want people to feel lonely and, you know, I just, I don't know, y'all. I'm just an optimistic person. I just wish I could pour my happiness into other people. You know what I mean? I just really wish I could pour that into them. Y'all, y'all have to excuse me. Um, hold on, let me see what these kids are doing. Chill, these girls over here. I'm not gonna put them on. Me, JP's all the way down here though, which is absolutely crazy. Hey y'all, how's it going? I got one on, on one of my mommy uniforms. Look, I'm out here checking on these kids. Look, I know y'all can't see me. My husband and I do things way in advance. Granted, we don't have we're not we're not in Texas for another two weeks, but we don't like to leave things to be done at the last minute. And I'm glad that we're both like that. Um, so we already have done things like, I mean, first of all, I went ahead and did a change of address for everything, including USPS. I'm sweeping because I'm OCD. And I've already gone ahead, well, we've already gone ahead and started um, uh, turning on utilities in Texas. And, um, child, where we're moving to? Where we're moving to, you guys? Because there's not a big city, city, excuse me, you have to call. You know how, I'm sorry, I'm on, I'm on now. You know how with, with a lot of utilities, you can set up everything on the internet or email? Child, this country has place, you gotta call Monday through Friday. 8 through 6 p.m. They don't work on weekends. So <laughs> I have to call to set up electricity and to set up the gas. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. So here we go. 
two weeks before we are scheduled to move and JV sick. Like sick, sick. So we're thinking a strap, but it's just so frustrating because we're in the middle of getting stuff together and you know how it is. I mean, or maybe you don't know, girl. I don't know, but yesterday he was complaining about his throat was hurting. And of course my husband jumps to the extreme. He's like, you better go get him tested for COVID. And I'm like, I don't think it's COVID. Complaining his throat hurting, throat hurt, throat hurting. Had a little low grade fever, like 99. Gave him a little bit of Tylenol. It went down to 98. Around seven o'clock, he threw up everywhere, all over the couch, all over the, I was like, oh my God, cleaned it up. Gave him a little bit of tummy medicine. Checked his fever again, he was okay. Sent him to bed. He threw up in bed. I'm like, oh my God, I checked him. Fever was 102. Then he started asking for daddy, y'all. <laughs> Contrary to most kids, JB actually asked for his, for my husband, for his daddy when he's sick. And I think it's primarily because he works in the medical field, you know, so he wants to, he wants daddy. Can we call daddy? I'm like, oh my God, we can't call daddy. Well, I did end up calling daddy <laughs> and then ended up calling my husband. And he's like, 102 people, you need to take him to the hospital. I'm like, what? He's just, just take him to the little hospital over here. Went to the hospital at 9.30, I really didn't want to go, but thankfully this hospital is small, quote unquote. Get there, there's about half a dozen people waiting. Get there at, nine, at like 9.45, <clears throat> and JB is not, you know, he's not feeling good, his stomach hurts, he still has a fever. 10 o'clock comes, 10.30 comes, 11 o'clock comes. I call my husband, I'm like, They've only seen one person. They've only called one person back there. He's like, you need to ask him for an ETA. And the girl at the front, she was like, I can't, I don't know. You know, it depends on what's going on back there and what's going on with these people. I apologize. So y'all, we had to leave because it was uncomfortable. You know how it is. If you've ever been in an emergency room, right, waiting room, it's bright as hell. It's 11, it's past 11 o'clock at this time and JP's tired. His stomach is hurting, he's crying. So my husband's like, you know, he's making an appointment first thing in the morning with his doctor. So that's what we're going to do. Long story short. But that has really put a wrench in everything we have going on for the next three or four days because, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So today we're going to have to see if I can get him into the doctor. Um, and... Yeah, I got a couple of things I got to do with the house in Texas. I got to call locksmith to get all the locks changed. Um, continue packing here. What I'm doing, y'all, is I'm packing and cleaning, packing and cleaning. Because I'm relatively clean, but you know you have to do a move out clean. So I'm packing and cleaning. So, oh, this is just, I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be patient with all of this stuff. But, yeah, um... A couple of people have Christmas presents for JV tomorrow. One of my, one of them's my elderly neighbor, and I don't feel comfortable going over to their house. You know, granted, we just came back from the hospital last night, so I'm gonna have to message her and say, "Look, uh, we just came back from the hospital last night, and I know y'all. I'm, be, I'm being super careful, though. I mean, yeah, we had on masks. We were being very careful, but you never know. So I'm gonna tell her if you want to." We can come pick up the presents in a couple more days, but leave them outside. I don't want to, you know, because they're they're over 70 and I will feel a certain type of way if they got sick because we brought them something. You know what I mean? You never know what you could be carrying. We, we could be well, but whatever. I will be having tons of new videos for you guys. Um, I have one more hair related video that I filmed. It's like a wash and go style I filmed in this apartment. But then all of the other videos will be captured in the new house. But please be patient with me because it'll be a while. I will be doing an empty house tour. I will try um, to do it whether I do it on my camera or my cell phone. You guys will see what the empty house looks like. And then we will roll into doing the hair related video but I have that swab. I have two deep, deep conditioner reviews. It's Eden Body Works um, 
marshmallow and then there is blue magic cholesterol i believe that what it is and we have suave's new they have a new line and that's it for the product reviews for now and i have an idea to redo my wedding look i had a beautiful vintage retro classic look that i had for my wedding so um, I may redo that for April because we got married in April, I think. Child, was, yeah, we did. We got married in April. So I, I want to redo that marriage, that wedding look, excuse me. And I think I did wand curls. Yeah, I did wand curls on Blown Out Hair. So we're going to do that. So that's just a little tidbit of what to expect as far as hair related videos go. But for now, this is it. Um, like I said, bear with me, baby. And I will see you guys in a couple more weeks. Take care. Bye.